matching exceptions, and today, I'm going to introduce you to a passionate developer who is actively engaged in your community, Christina Kayaka. <laughs> You got the greenness of a cat now, she's my little dog. Well, thank you for sitting here with me. Thank you for having me. Where are you from? Where'd you grow up? I'm originally from Nepal, so I went to elementary school in Kathmandu, Nepal. Then I moved to Ukraine uh, when I was about 10, um, and I went to Kiev International School there. And then after that, I moved up here to, uni to the United States, and I went to school at the University of Rochester. And now you're in Boston. And now I'm in Boston. There's already a lot of story there. Let's, uh, let's go back and, and talk about Nepal because I, I've never been to Nepal. That's north of India? Uh, yep. Yes. Yeah, so we're wedged between India and China, the two giants. Um, Nepal, many people know Nepal as the country with the highest mountains. Um, I have a lot of family in Nepal. I love it. It's a very small city compared to something like Boston, right? Um, and it's very different. It, in many senses, it is underdeveloped, but it's developing really quickly. Um, I guess some of the things that lifestyle-wise is different is just living here, uh, everything's a lot faster, and there's a lot of stuff that you could take for granted. So things like running water 24-7, electricity 24-7. So it is a very, very different lifestyle, but it makes you very grateful for what you have. I hear that. Yeah. And so then you moved to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. What's Ukraine like? Um, so we moved to Kiev, Ukraine. I went to Kiev International School, which was probably the most amazing years of my life. I got to meet a lot of great friends from all around the world and got exposure to a lot of different perspectives from these amazing people. Kiev is, if you think of, uh, you know, a movie and you think of the Soviet Union, <laughs> that's kind of the architecture type in Kiev, um, but it's growing so quickly. Um, Kiev is a much larger city. Um, than Kathmandu, and I would even say than Boston, it's just very spread out. And you came to New York for school. Mm -hmm. What was it that got you into technology? Ever since I was a kid, I've always been interested in technology. I used to play a lot of games when I was a kid. Sonic the Hedgehog was, you know, what I did all day, every day. Um, but other than that, I've also very much valued education. Both my parents um, have graduate degrees. My father studied hydraulics engineering in Minsk, and he got his PhD there. My mother got her um, master's in botany. Both my parents, they've, they studied in order to sort of improve Nepal in some way or another. Um, my father um, went on to build water wells, design um, dams, things like that, in order to improve hydropower. Um, and my mom did botanies to you know, bring awareness about the flora in Nepal that's very diverse. And so me, um, I've always wanted to do something that could make a difference and could make an impact. So that's how I got into engineering and computer science. That's cool. Um, so now that you're, you're in technology, you're, it seems like you're really involved in your community. You have mm -hmm. done a lot of hackathons, you're in IEEE. Tell me about that. I love the community here in Boston. I've been here for two and a half years, and I finally feel like there's something that I can contribute to, and there's like-minded people here that I can um, go out and hang out with. I also really like giving back to the community however I can. Um, so I'm in the Women in Tech uh, group committee here at Vistaprint, and so we go out and we do like RF Code or CS Ed Week with local schools. I love going to hackathons. I love experimenting with new technologies. Um, I like working with different people. So that's been a lot of fun as well and a, a huge way for me to have grown as an engineer and a computer scientist. What's your most memorable hackathon? Um, yeah, so my favorite hackathon was this one called Hollow Hacks, and it was organized by Microsoft um, with their HoloLens, which is this augmented reality device. So it was brand new off-the-shelf technology. So that was a lot of fun to play with. It was um, over the weekend. I had gone with a bunch of friends here from work, and uh, it was the first time I had developed for augmented reality. But it was cool to come out with, you know, something built at the end of it. That is cool. So that's uh, all the questions I have, but this is your opportunity now to speak to the community and give your message um, however you want. Sure. Um, so my message is, this, sh this channel is called Catching Exceptions, but I'm the one exception that got caught. Everyone out there is also equally exceptional. So as engineers, we become engineers to build something and invent something to change the world. So my message to you is not to hesitate, to go out there and build whatever it is you want to build and change the world however you can.
<laughs> build a way. I love yeah, it. build a way. <laughs> That's my message. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that was Catching Exceptions, and you just met Christina Cayesta, a senior software developer at Vistaprint. Next time you see me, we're going to be getting to know somebody else. Till then, hang loose.